Last minute house guests. We all get them at one time or another. You know, when you get that unexpected call, hey, we're coming over. <laughs> yes, I wanna share some of my tips and quick and easy food ideas so you can always be ready for those last minute house guests. Before we get started, I wanted to welcome and thank my new subscribers for following me. Thank you so very much. And if you're not following me on Instagram and Facebook at Be My Guest with Denise, I would love to have you join us over there. I post almost daily about my everyday life, deals, and sneak peeks at what's to come. So feel free to join me. As soon as I get the call, the guests are coming, I start laying out my go-to staples. Refreshing drinks like Pellegrino and wine are my must-have staples. I already know my menu, so I start laying out the dishes that I will be placing foods inside. Napkins, forks, serving spoons, salad bowls are all laid out the night before. Doing this will save you time before your guests arrive. Let your slow cooker be your best friend. I'm making a pasta meal because it's quick and easy and fulfilling. Sausage and peppers are slow cooking while I run out and get a few fresh ingredients. On this day, I know I was expecting at least four people, so I pulled out my Rachel Ray baking dish. It's pretty enough to be placed on my island. This way everyone can serve themselves straight out of the pan. You must have fresh baked bread to go with your pasta. It took all of two minutes to cut it up, place inside a dish. Garlic butter is placed inside right next to the bread for easy serving. And having it in this long boat dish, it gives it an elegant and special touch. You all know how I love using table risers when I do buffet style. I will have a link down below in case you want to see how I made it. Oil and vinegar bottles is placed next to my salad bowl I got from the flea market for $5. The stainless steel bowl along with the white dishes screams elegance but it's still casual and of course the main course which can be made ahead of time this was simple quick and easy to do broth bowl soup is a light and healthy budget-friendly soup to make a few ingredients is all you need broccoli spinach chicken broth and chicken pot stickers which are wonton dumplings that only take three minutes to cook in a medium-sized pot, add your chicken broth. You can also use low-sodium broth if you're trying to watch your salt intake. Chicken pot stickers can be found in your frozen food aisle grocery store. And it could also be cooked in a skillet until lightly brown and served with the sauce that comes with it. 12 large wontons come in a pack and just simply add your wontons carefully into the boiling broth. Then add your veggies of your choice. Fresh spinach, broccoli, and one large Valdalia onion was added to mine. And the best thing about this, I had all of these ingredients on hand already. Let your soup simmer for about three to five minutes or until your veggies are tender, it's totally up to you. And grab your favorite sauce. Mine is Sriracha. This broth can be made in so many ways. You can add zucchini, carrots, cabbage, mushrooms. Either way, you cannot go wrong cheese trays. Who doesn't like them? Cheese trays work great for parties, small or large, and anyone can make them. What you see here I always have on hand because I'm either cooking with them or we just snack on them. I like to prepare my cheese platter ahead of time. I just simply wash my fruits and veggies in this veggie container and bag my veggies in plastic baggies and put everything I will need on my platter ahead of time in this bin. So I'm not thinking too hard or searching for anything. It's all prepared and stored here in the fridge. Right before guests come, I can easily pull it out and pull it all together. I love making cheese trays for several reasons. One is I love playing with food, especially when it's simple, colorful, and fresh. Fruit is placed in these serving bowls. I got them from Home Goods, and I had them for several years. And in the smaller bowl, sweet and red yellow peppers are in the smaller one. And there's the platter. It can be anything you want, and it can also be a conversation starter. Experiment with different cheeses and meats, and get your guests to talk about which bites they like best. So you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Be My Guest with Denise, and let me know down below what is your go-to snack or meal for unexpected guests. And I want to thank you all for watching.